lot of the First Nation and Aboriginal communities are located in what's referred to as pristine environments. Environments where there really is not much for contamination. There's no background concentrations of a lot of these contaminants of concern that we see around urban centers. And that's particularly important because the drinking water that these communities use often comes from the lakes that are on their First Nations. The fish that they eat comes from the lakes and the rivers on these First Nations. So the need to deal with a lot of these environmental factors in these locations is, is much more significant. It directly affects the health of the community. So when there is a situation like a solid waste problem or there's groundwater pollution associated with an old mine or whether there's uh, groundwater contamination associated with illegal dumping practices, it can have immediate consequences on the community's ability to use the resources that are present. I think it's important that we take the problem seriously. Uh, these are communities that I think often have been overlooked by others in the past. I think in some situations their problems haven't been taken seriously and they should have been solved decades ago. Well, one of the things I learned is, is ask questions and sincerely ask questions and be prepared for answers you might not expect. I think that uh, it's really simple. Treat people with honesty, integrity, and give them the best work you possibly can and I think they'll appreciate that.